George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> 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 Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. Oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. <coughs> Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <coughs> <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can. Then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. <laughs> if Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard the Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. Pepper and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Pepper's friends are here. Going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? Oh. Okay, as long as we can race downhill. Okay. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready. You can start when I honk the horn like this. <laughs> Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr. Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. <laughs> no, stop! Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did he say go? I think so. Go! Go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. <laughs> Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me! Yay! I win! Well done, Pepper! Yes! I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to ride on Pepper's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals, these are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa, I know. Bye-bye. Easy as pie. Getting fit is quite hard work. <laughs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. 
I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Pepper, pick me, pick me. But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. Oh, I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies. Ready, steady, go! Daddy Pig is in the lead! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to... Pepper, stop talking and run! Oh! Keep going, Daddy! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh, I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Sorry, Pepper. Carry on. You're stuck in a thorny bush at Sleeping Beauty. What? Thanks, So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Good morning, Mr. Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Ho, ho. 
I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. <laughs> I will show you. Okay, I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes, Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh. Hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases, too. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Yay! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. <coughs> the same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr. George like? Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur! <laughs> I've got an idea. We've an old box of garden games somewhere. What are garden games? I don't know. Here we are. <laughs> Juggling sticks. Watch me juggle. Oh. Oh, oh. They're not for juggling, Susie. They're skittles. We set the skittles up here. Then we have to stand over here and try and knock the skittles over by rolling this heavy ball. Me first. <laughs> Pepper has knocked over two skittles. My turn is very hard, Susie. You probably won't be able to do it. Susie has knocked over all the skittles. Hooray! Oh, well done. Now it's George's turn. Because George is little, he can stand a bit closer. Oh. George is too little to play Skittles. George doesn't like being the littlest one. <laughs> hmm, let's play bat and ball. Pepper can throw the ball and George has to bat it. <laughs> but if anyone catches the ball, George is out. OK. Caught it! <laughs> George is out. <laughs> George is a bit too little, even for bat and ball. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! Ah! Oops. 
I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Welcome to Duckland. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. The ducks always turn up on... And we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. Picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho oh, ho, oh, you're most welcome. Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Danny. Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket any day, Grandpa Pig. All right, you old sea dog. Race you. Prepare to lose, water hog. <laughs> You two are acting like little children. <laughs> Granddad Dog called me a water hog. You called him a sea dog first, Grandpa. You should say sorry. Only if he says sorry first. Granddad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. He's your best friend. No, he's a water hog and my boat is faster than his. All right, sea dog. Let's race to the next bridge. On the count of three, one, two, go! You started to soar. Catch me if you can, Waterhog. Sea dog. Is that as fast as you can go? Can't catch me. <laughs> Oh dear, Grandpa Pig's boat has run out of petrol. Very clever, Captain Grandpa. Maybe I did go a bit too fast. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way, by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow. And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> My 
tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. Oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, eh? What? <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sands? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> My head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. Let's keep the sand in the bucket, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, Presto! A sandcastle. Hey, Presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels? Beach bag, sunshade, and a spotty ball. That's everything. I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. <laughs> Daddy! We forgot Daddy! <laughs> yes, we forgot Daddy Pig. <laughs> what? Daddy, we almost left you behind. But George remembered you. <laughs> well, I'm glad George remembered me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle! Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny! Oh no! Grandpa Pig is fast asleep, and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig, wake up! Wake up! Oh no, Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're cast away. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. And we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> what surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. <laughs> There's always something, Pepper. Look closer. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George, Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs! Pinch, pinch, pinch. Two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. No. <laughs> Look, Teddy. 
We're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy, I've dropped Teddy. <laughs> don't worry, Peppa. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. Oh, there he is. Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Teddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. No one is looking where they are going. George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Peppa, don't use the... Muddy water. Oh dear, Peppa has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> Peppa holds the hose. And Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. <laughs> Yucky. Yuck. <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Peppa holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? George loves their paddling pool.
so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh dear, George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> It is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> what happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we dip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sand castle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. What a splendid castle! Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny! Oh no! Grandpa Pig is fast asleep, and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh no, Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. And we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello? Uh, hello everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes, uh, actually, I just left something behind. Back in a creek. Look! There's Grandpa! We're safe! Hooray! Welcome aboard, 
me, Hot Is. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> Would you and Pepper like to have a paddle in the sea? Yes, please, Daddy. <laughs> Let's put your water wings on. <laughs> there we go. You look very smart in your water wings, George. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Good. <laughs> now we can play in the water. <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Daddy, I love being at the beach. George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. <laughs> All right, I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, not too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Pepper. I'm not too big. Stand back. Ready? Steady? Go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it looks very funny, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to push you down. Bouncing on Daddy's tummy. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> Daddy Pink loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football. Especially when it's muddy. <laughs> Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh, oh. The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes! Peppa is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs. Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs. Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheating! 
team to get a goal will win the game. jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa, remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! <laughs> Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? <sighs> Here they are! Thank you, Grandpa Pig! I can smell tomatoes! And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump! Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready? Steady, go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Whoa! <laughs> the puddle has gone! <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us! Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. Put that pipe there. I know. I'll take a shortcut. It's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Granddad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Straight down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello! Fire service! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Cool down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm flying! This rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Yay! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all! <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! It can go straight up! Yay! It can go straight down! Yay! It can even move the loop! <laughs> Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the potato rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh dear, George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. Talk to me. Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! Uh, yes. Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? No, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense! I know exactly how heavy I am. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. <laughs> oh dear, everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Hooray! The school bus has faded to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water. Water. What a lovely hot day. And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water. Water. Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. 
That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pets. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig uh, has lost the wasp. Uh, is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three, hookla! Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <laughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. This way. What is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> what are they doing? You can watch, and then you'll learn how to do it properly. First, I need a tape measure. And a pencil. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> now I need a hammer and a nail. Stand back, children, and watch a craftsman at work. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy! <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy! You've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There! I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! Oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> This is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them, and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing the house. George is drawing the dinosaurs. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> My goodness, five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr. Rabbit's job, and I like doing Mrs. Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill 
is to ride down. <coughs> Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Where are the brakes? <laughs> from the audience. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I just need one. <laughs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. Okay, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one, and a yellow one. Okay. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. Okay. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra! Blue. No. Abracadabra! Red. Yes, it is red. Oh. Oh. Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like one more trick? Yes. Oh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. 